What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mr. Bridside vlog. I'm Paul Eatsis, AKA Mr. Bridside. The Bridside Network is a platform where creatives can come together and flesh out their talent, both in front and behind the camera. We are Brooklyn's creative connection. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel on all social media and click on the bell icon on YouTube to stay notified for all future content. We have a passionate crew of people here that really have become good friends. And two of our friends, Tony and Laura, moved out to LA a few months ago. And this episode, we're going to talk about how the Bridgeside crew went to visit them in LA. Go Bridgeside. Before we get into going to LA, I want to talk a little bit about how Tony and Laura became part of our team and part of our family. If you watch vlog one, you saw how we created the studio and what we started producing out of it. Work in Progress wasn't the first production produced in there. It was actually Galaxy Men. Galaxy Men is a comedy created by our very own Tony McGowan, and this was the first time I met him. A few years ago, I was introduced to Tony by our very own John Fitch, a person who does graphics here and has made the beautiful logo. John said Tony was looking for a space he could fully deck out with green screen so they could put in their set piece, which was a cockpit for a spaceship as part of the film. So I said, let's do it. The set designer ended up being Rich Han, who has now become one of our crew members and one of our close friends. If you've been watching Brooklyn Versus and Bridgeside Live, you've definitely seen Rich Han host and be part of the panel. Me, Rich, and Tony measured the studio door to see if it would fit in and all work out. And the production started rolling. Tony had it all set up. He had his crew, he had his cast, he used the studio. I just sat around and kind of enjoyed the process. On set, I got to talk to Tony and really get to know him. It was a fun day of production, the first of many, and it started with Tony's project. Flash forward a year or so, we started doing Bridgeside Live and started producing our own content. As season one went on, I wanted to build the crew and tried to find more creatives. So I gave Tony the call and he was there midway through season one. Tony became a staple on the crew, meshed with everyone and became one of our best friends here. If you know Tony, you know he's a funny guy. Wait a minute. Just when you're in a room with him, his laughter is contagious, his humor is contagious. You kind of just want to be around the kid. So it's no surprise that he went on to produce Bridside's first live comedy show, The Caesar Brooks Hour. On the show, we invited stand-ups to come in and do a set live to our cameras and an online audience. After their sets, Tony sat down with the comedians and it became a late night talk show vibe. Check out the Caesar Brooks playlist and the link to Galaxy Men in the comments and description below. Along with Tony came his awesome girlfriend, Laura Zaboris. Laura is also a production person who has come and helped us out on set with different things and social media. But the cutest one of them all has to be their dog, Ellie. There was a couple shows where Ellie sat on the stage and didn't move the whole time. So after so many great productions with Tony, Laura, and Ellie, they got a job in LA. It was definitely a rough time when they left for all the crew. They are very close friends to us and we were pretty sad. A couple weeks ago, we decided to make the trip out to LA. Eight different Bridgeside crew members got on a plane. What we found out is that the crew is really bad at keeping secrets. Tony knew half of us were coming, but he was at least surprised for two of the crew members who came. Tommy Armento and Dana D'Angelo ran up to him in the Venice Canals and surprised him. <laughs> Most of our goal that trip was just to hang out and have some quality Tony and Laura time. But of course we had a big crew and people wanted to do different things. The two Danas decided they wanted to go to Disneyland and they dubbed the day, the Danas take Disney. While the Danas were in Disney, we decided to go to a car museum, mostly for our dear friend David Casanova, you know from eating with Casanova. Besides for his passion for food, the man has a severe passion for all things cars. He can look at a car in the street and give you its whole backstory, the year, the make. So this is a Duesenberg, okay? And that's where the term doozy comes from because it's a doozy. One of the first cars to go over 200 miles an hour. This is the skateboard of the car because all they do is just take different bodies and put it on the same chassis. We're about to race. I know I'm gonna be there everybody, just like the sausage contest. <laughs> Let it go, buddy. <laughs> After a fun-filled day at the park and the museum, we all met back up together and went out for drinks and a good time. It's a bunch of Brooklyn people at a bar in LA, so we definitely made our mark in the bar. Rich actually spotted a famous YouTuber who's a competitive eater. His name's LA Beast. He's actually from Jersey, but he goes back and forth to LA and Jersey. When Dave Casanova heard that there was a competitive eater in the midst, he wasted no time to talk to him about our Sausage Gate story. With Dave's rendition of the story, the guy called me out for bad leadership. He went a bridge too far. Dave was in all his glory when he said that. 
you don't know about Sausage Gate, it's a great story for another time. And if you want to see that story, click in the link again in the description and comments. It was awesome hanging out with Tony, having all of us there. Even though he knew half of us were coming, it didn't make the experience any less surreal for him, having everybody from the East Coast be there on the West Coast with him. Looking back at the experience of all of us going out to LA, can't help but think of what a strong group we've created through doing all these productions. It might sound cliche, but we really are just a big family. I want to send you off with a little emotional ballad from the Van Saders, along with some pictures of the crew from different events we've had. I'm sorry that I put you through hell. So many lessons meant to learn from but fail. There's only one thing that I know is true. I want to spend another day with you. The kind of day we used to Go Birdside. Thanks for watching the Mr. Birdside vlog. We do this every week. Please, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the Birdside Network. Next week, I'm going to do a little birthday edition vlog. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to do something about it. Goodbye.